Today, I'm weaving a wall hanging. Some assembly required. Not being an incredibly talented weaver, I thought I would weave. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do some, one of those interesting, like different weaving styles all together in a kind of cool wall hanging thing. I don't know. I have low expectations, but I think that the process will be fun. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So what I have gathered are my loom. My dad made me this loom. It's pretty cool. I have some thread for the warp. I've got sort of a neutral-ish color palette of thick yarns that I have. I don't know. I'm going outside of my comfort zone here. We'll see how it turns out. I have some alpaca yarn trimmings. I'm thinking maybe this would be a cool fringe. I'm gonna just go with it. I'm gonna see, see where my brain takes me. Or maybe just keep my brain out of it and see where my fingers take me. I also have some neutral color roving and, you know, some scissors, yarn needle, stuff like that. So I'm going to just get started and see how it turns out. So the first thing that we do is warp the loom. I don't really know how tight to make it, so I'm just trying to make it even <laughs> throughout. So I just tie a knot with the string on the first little peg and then I'll tie a knot on the last little peg. I'm gonna weave this little strip of cardboard into the bottom so that I have a nice flat edge at the bottom and I have plenty of string to tie it all off at the end. Now for the first section, I am just going to weave this orange yarn, just regular over under over under, and I'm going to squish it down with a fork. That will keep it nice and together. Seems like a good place for a row of fringe, uh, I think. <laughs> so to make a fringe with a piece of yarn, you just stick it in from the right to the left on the first warp thread, and then wrap it around to the second warp thread, come in from the back, in between the two threads, and then pull it down. I'm using kind of a green yarn and a greenish blue yarn, and I'm just sort of alternating them so they don't look like too much of one thing all at the same time. Now, more weaving. So in order to make it not get really skinny, you know how sometimes you weave and then it gets really, really, really skinny? I'm trying to make sure that I give plenty of room for the yarn and I'm trying not to pull it too tight as I squish it down. Now with this green, I'm gonna try to make sort of a triangle, I guess. Maybe not quite a triangle, but I'm, I'm gonna make it end at an angle in the middle and then see what that looks like. Now I'm gonna use this ivory kind of goldish yarn and make uh, sort of a curvy shape around the green. Now with the dark green, I'm gonna try to echo the green curve on the other side. I think that it looks kind of neat actually. And a couple little partial rows at the top to flatten it out. How about some more fringe? And these ones, I'm gonna put another tiny little row on the top, just sort of to double them up a little. Back to plain weaving with this big thick maroon yarn. Now, on the next row, I'm going to do some sumac weaving. If you would like a longer tutorial on sumac weaving, I will link that right up at the top of the screen. But really all you do is you stick your yarn in, the end kind of faces the right, then count over a couple of strings and go from the right to the left, stick the whole bundle through. And as you pull it nice and tight, I like to give it a tiny little turn, a little twisty at the bottom, just so it's not totally all over the place. And then I'm gonna just keep on doing that 
all the way across and back. Now a few more rows of plain old orange above the sumac weaving, just to flatten it out again. And then after a couple of rows, how about some rusty fringe? That might be neat. And then more orange. Couldn't really find any plain dowels the right size for what I needed, so I'm going to use this, uh, this stick, sort of a decor stick, but I have it a whole I have a whole ton of them downstairs, so I figure I should use them for something. It's not quite straight on the top, so let me fix that with some green. And then I will just tie the little warp threads around my stick, and then I'll do the same thing at the bottom. Just tie it off, and it'll be finished! I did not think that I would like this anywhere near as much as I do. It's not really my favorite color scheme, but it kind of works together. It's like they go nicely together. They're just not my favorite. But this was fun. I really like all the fringe and the texture and all the different stuff happening. It's a little crazy, but I like it. I did not like necessarily tying all the teeny tiny little knots, but I did have a helper. And it's a little bit lumpy and weird now that it's off the tension. Possibly I had it a little bit too tight, but any looser I feel like it would have just been wobbly and weird. So maybe that is something that uh, you might have to work on. But altogether, it's kind of cool. I can also see it being cool to actually weave onto a frame and just keep it there, because then... <laughs> all the annoying finishing and then all the weird shriveling wouldn't even happen. So, hey, maybe for next time. But all together, I like this one. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video and you're not subscribed yet, you can do that right underneath the video here and click that all notification bell so you don't miss anything. New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so stay tuned for more. Until the next video, be awesome, and I'll see you then. Bye!